Season 3 of the finals is releasing today, and are they taking too big of a risk? They dropped the announcement trailer for Season 3 during the Summer Games Fest, it was like $250,000, and they had a lot of good content in it, like a new map, new gadgets, new guns for like every class, a world tour mode for cash out, and the thing that just sent people into a frenzy in like their Discord and their Reddit and their Twitter and their everything was ranked being changed to terminal attack. And if you haven't played the finals in a while, how it used to be, how it started in season one was there was three rounds, three knockout rounds in a tournament of cash out, so four teams. And then whoever, whichever top two teams have the most money at the end, they go to the next, 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 till they get to the final round. The finals, which is the last two teams playing quick cash, which is just first to get two cash outs. Then in season two, they just reduced it from three knockout rounds to two knockout rounds, and then everything else was pretty much the same. And they just changed how the ranked points or distributed in that they made it very vague for a while you just didn't know if you went up or down after a match and then they added like this arrows thing which was kind of weird but up until now cash out and quick cash those have been like the flagship modes for the finals and so they were in ranked it made sense but that was then now and terminal attack is the ranked mode which is essentially search and destroy and i was gonna make this video earlier like when the trailer first dropped but i'm kind of glad i didn't because after they explain a little bit more as to why they're doing ranked terminal attack and world tour it made a little bit more sense because at first i was like this makes no sense at all to take out the mode that made y'all different from every other game not take it out but like take it out of ranked and put it just for world tour but with cash out the way it is and the rank system we had in season two i guess they thought it was clear that it just wasn't gonna work long term they need to make like bigger changes to it and terminal attack being ranked for a season while they work on it is one way to do it i thought another thing they could have done was just one just keep cash out as the rank mode and just make the one in pubs like experimental like they put a little tagline like they do with ltms just put it as experimental and just try all the stuff in there maybe have splits kind of like they do in apex first split terminal attack second split cash out rotate them daily in ranked just something like that but with the splits that'd be a way for people who want to hit like ruby or diamond they can do that playing cash out at one point in the season. It won't be in the beginning because they probably would want to have terminal attack first, but that way it's still possible. And the same thing with it rotating daily, it just wouldn't be like you have like this set time period to play cash out only. It's like you got to be there on the right day, but they could also just add terminal attack as a second ranked option and then just still have like that experimental cash out mode for pubs and then have regular cash out for, uh, for ranked. But I don't think that would do well because I mean, I don't think the player base is getting bigger, so having another mode probably wouldn't help. So will it be reverted in the future? They made it kind of clear that they want to, they just want to fix cash out in whatever way they see fit before doing that. So terminal attack is just kind of like the placeholder and it makes more sense for a ranked mode because it's just two teams and it's not as much randomness applied to the game as far as who wins and loses. Cause I'm sure they were very well aware of how people would react when they put that new ranked mode terminal attack in the trailer. Bro, people were sending death threats and review bombing over it and it's like the trailer had just dropped they had hadn't even played it yet and i get it's frustrating if it's not what you wanted but like bro it is a mode in a game you like it shouldn't be taken to that extreme but they know cash out in just the old rank tournament system that's what people want in the game i'm sure they will bring it back i mean they almost took out bank it and when the community was like, do not take that out, they just, they didn't do it. Thank you literally never left the game because of that. But I do feel like this is way more of a methodical decision than people give them credit for, because this is probably the biggest decision they've made for the game since it came out. Like Power Shift was a cool addition for pubs. Same thing with Terminal Attack as a LTM mode. And like we had the uh, solos and all, all those other ones. I just feel like this is more of a season four and beyond type of play, not like this is here for now and forever type of thing like I think that's how people were taking it but i don't think that's really going to be the case but they also dropped a ranked video like specifically just to explain what changed and how i mentioned that it was super vague with where you were at in your rank they changed that now it's ranked score rs and it will tell you like you have i don't know like 9156 rank score like it'll tell you an exact number you know the exact number to get to the next rank how much you can't lose to go down to the last one like it's way more clear now and i think i mentioned ruby already but that's going to be the top 500 people they get like a a diamond skin but it's red that's the ruby skin and then the diamond is just the diamond skin i think it's the lewis gun for diamond and the ak for the ruby skin i got diamond in season two i'm not getting ruby and there was also mention of emerald I, this is going to be in world tour i guess because when it first got mentioned i thought it was going to be like you go diamond four to one then you hit ruby 
kind of like masters and apex and then you hit, when you hit top 500 you hit emerald or other way around maybe it would be emerald than ruby but i thought it was gonna be something like that but since they dropped the rank video explaining everything it's that's not the case also i'm recording this a day before it drops so i you probably know this more than i do but as for world tour that i do know because the video was already out they dropped a video on the 10th explaining everything so these are cash out tournaments like the rank tournaments we have in season two and every two weeks they just change something about it some modifiers to make it it's more of like a casual fun focus thing there is bronze through gold and they said beyond in the uh in the video so i'm assuming that's where it's going to go up to plat diamond emerald is probably going to be the thing but it doesn't seem like it's going to be immediate because in the video explaining world tour it they didn't even really show it they just showed bronze through gold it's also not as competitive as ranked it's more of casual focus because the the rank score is not called that in world tour but that equivalent you can't actually lose any points you can only gain so you just play the game like you will get gold pretty much and if you do get gold you get up 150 of the premium currency i think it's 50 for bronze 100 for silver and 150 for gold i'm assuming they'll just go up 50 with the higher tiers if they add them and just after learning about their idea of terminal attack and world tour and just like how they're using this rank season as a way to like fix cash out i don't really i'm not as disappointed about it as i was before like when i first saw it i was like i like terminal attack i do but not that much i like it about as much as power shift like it's cool sometimes i'm glad it's there i'm glad it's an option it's cool to have options in the game but i never wanted that to be ranked but if it's better for the long term i can deal with it for a season it really ain't the worst thing in the world changes i think terminal attack could use are one a class limit no more than two a class we don't need five heavies running around because that will happen and over time they could add variants of the maps that are more geared for terminal attack or just add like shrink zones that you play in i'm pretty sure kyoto 1568 I'm pretty sure that's the year, but Kyoto will be geared towards both, I guess, because it's going to be in, in all the modes. This would be a bigger change, but maybe if they did like keep the 5v5, but have like a set number of respawns per team, how many, I don't really know, but it would just be like first to two wins. And then you can keep a mini tournament format that way. So that way you do still reach the finals, not the terminals. But by the time you're seeing this, the passions are out. So you can just see what they actually did change. I know they made it very clear that they are making changes to terminal attack before season three drops because the way it is right now isn't what it's going to be in rank so if you played rank last season are you going to play it again in terminal attack i haven't really decided yet if i will i probably i'll try it at least i'll probably get to at least gold after that i don't know but those are just my thoughts and ideas let me know what you think in the comments remember to keep your brain on while you do that leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one bye